61. Prince Charles is being shown around tonight's set and will be watching rehearsals. This afternoon, he'll sign a copy of the live script, which is to be auctioned for charity. A 10-year-old girl from Greater Manchester is fighting for her life after a virus destroyed her heart. Emma Standish from Farnworth has been transferred to the Freeman Hospital in Newcastle, where she's having a mechanical heart fitted to allow a little more time to find a donor. Emma Murphy reports. Just a few months ago, Emma Standish was a healthy 10-year-old. Today, she's just got five days left to live unless she finds a new heart. Friends and family at her school in Farmworth near Bolton are trying to help, sending messages of support. But they know unless a donor is found soon, her race against time will be lost. We need people to donate, um, carry the donor card. Um, my niece is really poorly. It's, cri it's critical she gets a heart today. And if she, do if she doesn't get a heart within five days, then... Emma developed a virus in her heart in June. Now her blood pressure has plummeted and staff at Pendlebury Children's Hospital fear it could trigger potentially lethal kidney failure. Today she's been moved to Newcastle to have a mechanical heart fitted to sustain her over the coming days. We just need somebody to help us to make it possible for her to, to, to live a life fully. The hope is that someone will be able to help before it's too late. A poignant statue has been unveiled in Liverpool to mark the 20th anniversary of John Lennon's murder. And later, a plaque will be placed at his childhood home in the city as thousands of fans around the world remember the former Beatle. Rachel Bullock reports.